all may be seated. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all had a good lunch. Uh, we begin our after lunch session here. Is the state ready to call another witness? Yes, Your Honor. You may do so. Thank you, Your Honor. The state will be calling James Manley to the stand. <coughs> Setting down, I'll ask you to raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, as you shall answer unto God? Yes. You may be seated. And the state may examine. Thank you, Your Honor. Good afternoon. How are you? All right. Okay. Can you please state your name for the record and spell your last name? I'm James Manley. Okay. M A N L E Y. Okay. And Mr. Manley, how old are you? 46. Okay. And um, are you married? Yes. And who are you married to? April Manley. Okay. And how long have you guys been married? Mm, 26 years. 26 years? Judge, could you have the witness keep his voice up just a uh, little bit, please? Yeah, it's a, our, the acoustics aren't great in here. Uh, that that should do a pretty good job of broadcasting if you can stay pretty close to that long mic. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. Okay, so you said you've been married to April Manley for 26 years? Yes. Okay. Do you have children? Yes. How many children do you have? Three. And what are their ages and names? <laughs> 27, I think, and 25. And 15. Oldest ones. Please, please, please start, try to keep your voice up if you can. If you maybe move your chair closer, because this will amplify your voice. It's just not if you're very far away from it. Sorry about that. I wasn't very far from it. What'd you say? I said I wasn't very far from it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Trust me, this is a recurring problem. Um, okay, so you said you have three children. And you were telling us their ages. Uh, Cody's 27, I think. Okay. Greg's 25. Josh is 15. Okay. All boys? Yep. Okay. And um, do you have any siblings? Uh, three sisters. Three sisters? And what are their names? And Kathy's the oldest one. Dana was the middle, and Bobby Joe was younger than me. Okay, and where do you fall into that lineup? Between Kathy and Dana. Between Kathy and Dana? Yeah. Okay. And um, do you work? Yes. Yeah. Where do you work? Uh, logging. You do logging? Yeah. Okay. And can you tell us, um, how would you describe your relationship with your sister, Dana? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Okay. Did you live near, near her? Yeah. Okay, on the same road? Yep. Okay, you both lived on Union Hill Road? Yep. Okay. And were you aware that she had uh, moved into a new place? Yes. Um, Back in 2016? Okay. And how did you become aware of that, or how did you know that? She came out the house, said she got her place right out the road from our house. Okay. And did you help her at all in moving in or anything like that? I helped her with moving some beds in. Okay. And then helped clean some of the yard up. Okay. And what kinds of things did you do to help her clean up the yard? Just break leaves and sticks out of the yard. Okay. All right. 
Um, and would you say you had um, a good relationship with um, her children? Yes. Okay. And can you tell us, we know that um, Dana and Chris were married for a long, for a while. Yeah. Um, and then they divorced, correct? Yep. Um, how was the relationship after they divorced? Mm -hmm. About the same. <clears throat> At the time, um, back in 2016, do you know where Frankie was working? I know where he worked at. It was like uh, remodeling houses. Remodeling houses? Okay. Yeah. And do you remember who he was working for? I think it was Donnie Stewart. Say it again. Donnie Stewart. Okay. And um, was that an individual that had worked at the school too? Yeah. Okay. And then had a business? Yep. Yeah. All right. And was your son Cody working with him as well? Yes. Okay. Were you aware, or did, did you um, have any knowledge of Frankie doing derby car racing? Yep. Okay. How did you know that? We run together. You ride together? We worked on them together. Work on the vehicles together? Yep. Okay. And how many years would you say Frankie had been doing that? He was around it from... A baby. Say it again. He was around it from the time he was a baby. Okay. He was around it from yeah. the time he was a baby? Okay. Um, did he like hunting as well? Yes. Okay. Um, you knew he had chickens? Yep. Okay. Do you know if those were fighting chickens? You can tell they're fighting chickens. How, why do you say that? Just the way they look. Okay. Tell me who doesn't know how, how to spot a fighting chicken. How, how do I spot a fighting chicken? They're tied on a barrel or a cage. Say it again. They're tied to barrels. Okay. Okay. Um, so they don't get together and fight. Okay. So you keep them separated. Yep. Okay. Um, and do you know if Frankie did that? Well, I couldn't tell you. Okay. That wasn't something that you went with him on or did no. with him? Okay. Okay, so can you tell us um, back on April 22nd of 2016, um, where were you working at that time? Uh, I was logging. You were logging? Yeah. Okay. And who were you working for at that time? Hobart Montgomery. Say it again. Hobart Montgomery. Okay. And did you end up working that day? No. And do you remember why not? Rain. Rain? Okay. And how did you learn that you didn't need to go to work that day? Uh, I went to call him from my phone, but my phone was out of time and used my wife's phone. Okay. So you called your employer yep. and he said not to come in? Yep. Okay. And can you tell us what you did then after finding out that you didn't have to go to work? No, I went out to work on my four wheeler. Okay. And what time would you normally go to work? Mm, usually about seven o'clock. About 11 o'clock? Seven. Seven o'clock, I'm sorry. And while you were out working on your four-wheeler, what, what area um, of the property were you working on that? Behind my house. Okay. And while you were working on that, um, did you notice anything unusual happen? When Billy pulled in and they took off after they got a hold of mom and dad and mom and dad left behind them. Okay. So who is Billy? One of my sister's friends. Okay. Which sister? Bobby Joe. Okay. 
And do you know his last name? Morgan. Okay. Had you seen him before? Uh, seen him before. Okay. So you knew that he was your sister's friend? Yeah. Okay. And were you present when he had a conversation with your parents? Nope. Okay. Um, can you tell us approximately how long he was there at that, at your house? Probably maybe a minute or two. Okay. And I guess I should establish, do your parents live close to you? Yes. Okay. And um, in a separate residence? Yeah. Okay. But on basically the same property? Yeah. Okay. So you see Billy Morgan pull up and did you see him talking to your parents? No. Okay. What did you see? I just seen him pull up, get out, walk up to the house and then they went back to the car and went back out the road. Okay. And then what happened? And the way dad took off, I knew something was wrong. Okay. Then I went see what was going on. Okay. So um, you said your dad took off and the way he took off, you could tell something was wrong. Yep. Okay. But you didn't know what was wrong. Nope. Okay. Um, and was your mother with him? Yes. And then what did you do? No, I was jumped in my truck and followed him out to her. Okay. So you're just, could tell it was urgent and you wanted to follow to find out what was going on. Yep. Okay. And where did you go? The Frankie house. Okay. And were you just following them and just yep. went where they went? Okay. And when you got to Frankie's house, um, what was going on? I pulled up and the cars were sitting in the road and wondering what was going on. Okay. And when you said the car was sitting in the road, whose car was sitting in the road? Bobby Joe's car and mom and dad's car. Okay. And Bobby Joe's car, um, is, was that the car that Billy was driving? Yes. When he came to your parents' home? Okay. And uh, were they still in the vehicles at that time? I think they was done out. Say it again. They was done out. Okay. And what happened then? What did you do? Well, I pulled up there and set my truck off. Okay. Did you get out of your vehicle? After I shut it off and I got out. Okay. And did you have a conversation with anybody? Not right then. Okay. Um, at some point, do you find out what has happened? No, I walk up to the yard and then see the Frankie's baby covered in blood. And what was Frankie's baby's name? Ruger. So you see um, Frankie's baby covered in blood. Um, do you remember who was holding the baby at that Bobby time? Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe, okay. And do you find out at that point what, what has gone on? No. Okay. Go ahead and tell me at what point do you, or what did you do next after you see Bobby Joe with Ruger? I asked her what the hell happened. Okay. You asked Bobby Joe? Yep. And can you tell me what she told you then? You said that Chris and Gary is dead down at Chris's trailer and Frankie and Hazel's dead there. Did you ask her any more questions at that time? Nope. Okay. And then what did you do? I just stood there for a second. Okay. How was, um, was Bobby Joe upset at that time? I don't really remember. Okay. What did you do next? Okay, we went in, went in Frankie's house. You went in Frankie's house? Yeah. Okay. Did anybody else go into Frankie's house with me you at that time? Me and my dad, Cody and Bobby Joe.
So your son was there also? Yeah. Okay. Had he come with you or did he come in? He different... drove his own vehicle. Okay. Do you know if he was supposed to work with Frankie that day? He was supposed to. Did you um, see Frankie and Hazel? Yes. Okay. And can you describe what you saw? Yeah, blood everywhere. You said blood everywhere? Yeah. Okay. And when you say blood everywhere, can you tell us where specifically? It was on the body, on the bed, on the walls. Did you touch or move anything in that room? No. Okay. Did anybody touch or move anything when you were Not present? that I know of. Okay. What did you do after you saw Frankie and Hazel? I uh, went back outside and got in my truck and went to Dana's house to tell her what's going on. <coughs> and what happened when you got to Dana's house? I knocked on the door, and then the door opened by itself. I'm sorry, you knocked on the door and what? It opened by itself. Okay. So it wasn't completely latched or something? <coughs> I'm not sure. Okay. And what was your intent um, when you went to Dana's house? Tell her something was wrong with Frankie and Chris and him. Okay. After you knocked on the door and it opened, what did you do? I yelled her name. Okay. Did she respond? No. <clears throat> Then what happened? I kept you on her name, went to her bedroom. <coughs> and still didn't get any response? No. Okay. And you said you went to her bedroom? Yeah. Okay. And you knew where her bedroom was? In yes. Okay. And what did you do when you got to her bedroom? I kept you on her name. Okay. Could you tell if she was in the bedroom or not? Couldn't tell. It was dark in there. Okay. So what did you do then? I kept you on her name and I felt on the bed to see if she was there. just feeling around on the covers or the blankets yeah. to see if she was there? Okay. And could you tell if she was there or not? Yes. Okay. And was she there? Yeah. Okay. So what did you do next? I was trying to get her awake. Trying to get her to wake? Yep. Okay. Were you like? Just tapped her. Patting her on her body? Okay. And still on top of the covers? Yeah. And then what did you do? I kept going up toward her head. And when you got to where you thought her head was, what did you do? I felt like a pillow over her head. I started to pick the pillow up and you feel it stuck. And I just let least of it went out of the house. Okay. So you started lifting up the pillow, but you could feel that it was sticking? Yeah. Or it was stuck? Yeah. Okay. And you said then you ran out of the house or went I out I just of the turned house. around and walked back out. Okay. And why did you do that? Like, what did you think? Because you... I figured she was dead too. Okay. What made you think that? Because where the pillow was stuck. And she obviously was not waking to your attempts to no. rouse her. Okay. Were you aware um, of her work schedule? Like, were you aware of what her work hours were the night before? 
at not all? that night, but she works crazy hours. Okay. Did you go anywhere else in the house at that time? No. Okay. So you basically entered the residence, went straight to Dana's bedroom. Yep. Did what you did there and then exited the house basically yes. the same way you came in? Yes. Okay. You didn't go to Hannah Mae's nope. bedroom? Did you go to little Chris's nope. bedroom? Okay. Um, did you hear anything in the house? I heard Kylie crying. You heard Kylie crying? Okay. Who is Kylie? Hannah Mae's youngest daughter. could hear Kylie crying was that when you were leaving the residence that's when I was walking out okay <clears throat> and what did you do then I went out to my truck went out to my house and told my wife what did you tell your wife that Frankie and Hannah Hazel was dead That Dana was dead. And Chris and Gary was dead. And Gary, too? Mm hmm. Okay. So you told her Chris and Gary and Frankie and Hazel and Dana? Yeah. Okay. And what did you do next? And told her we go out there and get the baby. You told mm. April you needed to go back and get the baby? Yeah. Okay. Did April come with you then? Yes. How far away, um, how, how far of a drive is it from your house to Dana's house? Probably not even a mile. So you can get there in a few minutes or less than a few minutes. Yeah. Okay. And what did you do when you got back? You know, parked by the mailbox. Because I know there's going to be a bunch of cops that coming because where Frankie and them are dead. So I parked there so I could, once they got there, I could go out with mom and dad. So you were trying to park your vehicle where you knew you could leave and go up and be with your parents? Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait just a minute. Wait. I'm sorry. Oh, you need to speak up? You still, we still need a little bit more volume in your sorry. voice there if you can. Yeah. I'll try to pay attention to that too, but um, it's hard to keep your voice up. So. Um, So once you and April arrived back at Dana's house, um, you said you'd parked your car out by the street, by the mailbox, right? Yeah. And did you go back into the house to get the baby? No, well, I started to, I got to the screen door and something said, just stay outside. Okay. I just turned around and went back to the truck. Okay. You didn't feel like you could go in there? Nope that point okay. and you went out back out to the truck yeah okay and then what happened uh, there's a bunch of cops coming and I flagged one of them down okay. do you remember what where they were from or anything no, it's piped and cop And what did you tell them? I said there's at least one in there dead. Okay. Did you tell them about the baby? No. Okay. 
did they ask you um, who else might be in the house at all? Not the end. Okay. Did you s stay at that location? Yes. Okay. And was there a point where um, the other officers arrived? There was a bunch of them. Okay. And did any of them enter the house and get the baby? Yes, once the squad was there. And did you find out if anybody else inside that house was dead? Not then. At what point did you find out? They said I had my wife draw a picture of the way the layout was. I'm sorry, Judge, I can't hear the witness. Could you answer that again? They asked my wife to draw a picture of the layout of the house. Okay, so April drew a picture of the house for the police so they would know basically where various bedrooms would be? Yes. Okay, and at what point did you learn that um, the other people inside the house were dead? I didn't. Say it again. I didn't. You didn't? The police never told you what they found nope. inside the house? Did you, were you still present when they went inside the house? Yes. Okay. Um, and did they bring the baby out? Yeah. Okay. Were, and you were there when they brought the baby out? Yeah. Okay. And what happened when they brought the baby out? What did they do with Kylie? They put her in the squad, checked her out, make sure she was all right. Okay. You said they put her in a squad? Yeah. And did they take her by squad someplace? They took her to the hospital. Okay. Do you know if anybody rode with her? April rode with her. How long were you at uh, Dana's house? Probably hour, hour and a half. Okay. Did you eventually go back up to Frankie's at all? In a cop car. In a cop car? So they drove you up there? Yep. Okay. Um, and were you able to see your parents at that time? Nope. Were they not there anymore? They was there, but I sat in a cup car. You had to sit there. Okay. And did you um, eventually go to the sheriff's office and give a statement? Yes. Yes? Yes. Sorry. <clears throat> when people walk, it, it's very creaky. <laughs> um, and did you tell them everything, basically what you've told us here today? Yes. And did they also um, want to take your boots? Yep. Okay. Did you give them your boots? No. Okay. Tell us about that. I just bought them. Say it again. Just bought them. Okay. For two hundred dollar boots. Okay. Do you remember what kind they were? Red wing logger boots. Red wing what? Logging boots. Okay. Did they take pictures of you? Yes. Kids? Okay. Did they take anything from else from you on that day? No. Uh, made me leave my truck set there at Dana's. Made you leave the truck there? Yeah. Okay. So after you were done at the sheriff's office, um, how did you get to your next place? 
I uh, called mom and dad to come pick me up. Okay. Did you end up um, at the church at all that day? Yep. Yeah. <coughs> and is that a church that your family goes to? Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's right there on Union Hill Road? Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's a place they had a service for your father, right? Yep. Yeah. Did you also provide a written statement for the police? Yeah. Okay. show you what's um, marked as state's exhibit p as in paul p8 um can you tell me if you recognize that yep and how do you recognize it the one i wrote down okay so you recognize that that is your handwriting yep okay and you basically they just asked you to provide a written statement about what happened is yep. that correct okay Any memory of how long you were at the church that day? Mm, couldn't tell you a time frame, but okay. after we left Sheriff Department over here, went after from you left what? Sheriff Department. Oh yeah, what well, did used to be right here, wasn't it? Yep. Um, and was there some point where you also learned that Kenneth Roden had been killed? Yep. Okay. And how did you learn that? And after we got to church. Okay. So you found out when you were still at the sheriff's office? At church. At the church? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Um, Mr. Manley, I'm just going to show you some pictures and ask you to identify them and, and I'll ask you questions about them, okay? Uh -huh. That's my sister's place. What'd you say? That's my sister's place. Okay. And your sister Dana? Yep. Place? Okay. What's the, exhibit? Um, the exhibit number for the record is C3. <clears throat> okay. And that picture appears to be taken from the road. Yeah. Is that fair? Okay. driveway you said dana's driveway yeah okay Which and one? then the walkway leading up to the home yeah, yeah. Do we have an exhibit number? i'm What's sorry number? c52 thank you five two 
Okay. And so that's the walkway up to her front, the front yeah. of her house. Okay. And can you tell us, did that home have an addition on it? Yes. Okay. And a kind of a cellar or basement? Like a little basement like. States Exhibit C-94. Front door to Dana's house. Okay. And is that the door that you entered on that day? Yes. Okay. And there appears to be a screen door and a uh, regular door. Um, which one, when you said you knocked on it, opened it, are you talking about the hard door? The hard door. Yeah. You have a better name for it? Front door. Front door. Mm -hmm. I could tell you had something. Um, okay. Seven, seven. Okay. Seven, seven, three, six. Seven, seven, three, six. Okay. Zero. C, 97. Dana's living room. Okay. And is that as you walk in the front door? Yes. So those kind of tiles there would be right when you walk in the front door. And then which way do you go to go to Dana's room? To the left. Okay. Um, the next, 7736. Okay, yeah. You did. Um, when you walk to the left there, oh, okay, sorry. We'll just, we'll do that with the next one, it's fine. Um, 7737, very next one. And this is C98. Okay, is that the, um, the area that you walked through? Yes. Okay, and it appears that there's a kitchen after you leave the living room, is that yes. correct? Okay, and um, appears to be a little bassinet there in the yeah. living room to the right, right before yeah. the fridge. Is that correct? Yes. And can you see the hallway um, that you would have walked down it's in that picture? Bricked her by the refrigerator. Okay. Yep. S States Exhibit C-191. Dana's bedroom. Okay. And is that the side of the bed that you would have walked up on? Yes. Okay. And is that how you found the bedroom when you arrived in her bedroom? Couldn't tell. It was dark in there. Okay. But I'll ask it a different way. Was any, could you feel any part of her body or could you only feel her body through the covers? Through the cover. Okay. You indicated that you picked up the pillow and you could tell it was sticking and so you dropped it back down or let it back down. Um, did you remove any of the covers or change anything at all? No. Okay. You did not pull covers over her or anything? No. Okay. That's Dana's bedroom. Okay, and that's that's the bed. Yeah. And uh, C one nine eight. Seven eight four zero. 
which is C201. Can you repeat it? Yes, I'm going to. 716, which is C78. The garage on Diner's property. Okay. And the very next one, 7720. Which is C eighty two. Inside of the garage. Okay. Had you ever been inside that area before? A couple of times. Huh? A couple of times. Okay. And did you know what they were using that for? They just used it for storage. Okay. And was there a part of the garage that um, Hannah was using for pictures? That one there. That room right there? Okay. And so what was she doing? That's where she put her cameras and stuff. Okay. And do you know who she did that with? Chelsea. And who's Chelsea? Frankie's oldest son's mom. Okay. And so they just had a little, would they take pictures in there and stuff? or? I uh, couldn't tell you. You just knew there were cameras in there? Yep. Okay, all right. Um, seven, six, eight, oh. and Hannah's vehicle. Um, C-42. Um, you said Dana's vehicle and Hannah Mae's vehicle? Yeah. Okay. Do you know which one's which? The gray one's Dana's. The red one's Hannah's. Okay. And 
and 7693C55. Pictures of Dana's vehicle and the Jeep, and I ain't sure about the G6 or whatever it is there. Okay, all right. So you don't recognize the red car that's in the forefront? No. Nope. Okay. Seven seven three one C ninety three. Same side of the garage. Okay, that same little area you were talking about. Yeah. Okay. We talked about um, you and Frankie doing the derby cars together sometimes. Um, did you have a good relationship with Hannah Mae also? Yeah. Okay. And uh, what about little Chris? He was usually there. You said he was there? Usually there working on a derby cars like this. Oh, he would? Yeah. Okay. The defense may cross examine. <coughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Manley. How are you? All right. Good. Thanks for being here. Uh, my name is John Parker. I'm one of the attorneys for George. Uh, I know it's difficult for you to be here, uh, but we just have a few questions if we could. All right. And you have a very soft voice, so just make sure you speak in that microphone so I can hear you. If I can hear you back here, everyone else should be able to hear you. All right. If I ask you a question you don't understand, please say so, and I'll try to rephrase it. Um, so you knew Chris Sr., obviously. Yep. And how long had Chris Sr. and Dana been together, would you say? Mm. Yeah. Mike Dana was 16 or 17 when they got married. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Dana was 16 or 17 when they got married. Okay. Do you know how much older Chris was than Dana? Couldn't tell you. I'm sorry? Couldn't tell you. Okay. He was a little bit older than her. Yep. Okay. Um, and at some point they got a divorce, right? Yep. Do you know why they got a divorce? Couldn't tell you. Okay. But they stayed friendly and together basically even though they got a divorce, is that yes. right? Yes. Okay. Um, and as I understand it, Chris was a pretty generous man with his money, is that fair to say? Yep. He would help out Dana as much as he could? Yep and other family members? Yes. All right. And he would often give them cash if they needed it, is that right? Yes. Okay. Um, do you know where he worked? He worked for himself and worked down at Big Bear Lake. Okay. And were you aware of his marijuana grow operations? No. You didn't know anything about that? No. Okay. <clears throat> Now, the night or the day this all happened, this, these terrible events happened, you didn't go to work because it was a rainy day, right? It had been raining. It had been raining. And in your logging business, you don't work on the, under those conditions, right? No. Okay. Um, did you ever go to Chris's house? Sometimes. OK. 
Okay. On the day that we're talking about, did you go over to his house? No. All right. You went to Frankie's first, is that right? Yes. All right. You went inside and you looked at him and Hannah Mae, is that right? It's Hannah Gilly. I'm sorry. I apologize. Hannah Gilly. You went in and saw Frankie and Hannah Gilly? Yes. All right. Um, were th was there anybody else in there when you were? My dad was, my sister was, my son was. All right. Did you all gather in any particular room at any time? Right there at the hallway in Frankie's bedroom. Okay. Um, do you know if anybody removed anything from Frankie's house? Not that I know of. And then you went up to Dana's, as I understand it, to check on her and tell her what you'd found out. Yes. All right. And her door was unlocked? It was shut. When I knocked on it, it opened up. OK. So it was not locked from the inside, right? I don't know if it was latched all the way in the latch or what it was. OK, but when you knocked, it opened slightly. When I knocked on the door, it just gotcha. You did not go inside at that point? Yes. Or, or did you go inside? I did. You did go inside. And did you go straight to her bedroom? Yes. All right. And it was dark inside, right? In her room it was. In her room it was dark. OK. When you're at the doorway to her room, can you see Hannah May's bed? Not when it's dark in there. OK, but let's say it was light. If it's, if it's lit up, if you're standing in Dana's doorway, can you see Hannah May's bed? No, not at the doorway. OK. There's a little hallway from, um, from Dana's bedroom to Hannah May's. Is that right? Yes. OK. And I think you described this as when you went to check on Dana, she was covered up with the blanket or the, or the quilt? Yes. Okay. You could not see her body at all? No. Okay. How long do you think you were inside her house at that time? Less than a minute. Okay. Now, I believe, um, Hannah May's child was taken to the hospital, is that right? Yes. Did you go to the hospital yourself? No. Did your wife go to the hospital? Yes. She rode in the squad with the baby? Yes. But you were never at the hospital? No. talk about Hannah Mae for just a moment. You knew she had just had a baby, right? Yes. Just a few days before? Yep. Had you met the baby yet? Don't think so. All right. But you heard the baby as you were leaving? Yes. All right. Do you know who the father of the baby was? Uh, Charlie Gilly. Charlie Gilly. OK. Um, did you know Jake Wagner? No, Dovey. You know of him because he and Hannah Mae used to be together, is that right? Yes. Had you ever seen him before? Yes, uh, like uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas. OK. Would he be over at the Manly House? Sometimes. OK. Now, you had your own cell phone on this day, right? Yeah. But it wasn't working for some reason? It was out of time. It was out of time. Um, and your wife had her own phone? Yes. Okay. Did you use her phone sometimes, right? Yeah. I used you it. called your boss to see if you needed to come into work? Yeah. Did you receive a text message from Jake that morning? No. You did not? On, on, your, on your wife's phone? No. On your own phone? No. 
Were you ever questioned by the authorities about that? Yes. So over at Chris's, back over at Chris Seniors, you did not know about his marijuana grow operation? No. Did you know about the big barn he was building? No. You did not know about that? No. Okay. Did you know about the pigs he had? Yes. Where did he keep his pigs? Down below the newer looking barn there in the front yard. Okay. Do you know how many he had? I think it was two. Okay, he had two pigs. Okay. And he had some dogs, right? Yes. Were you familiar with the dogs? Yeah. Um, and he had some dogs out in the barn, right? Yeah. Any idea about how many? I couldn't tell you. Okay. And he had a couple indoor dogs, is that right? Yes. Did you know their names by any chance? One was Paisley, one was Chance, and I can't remember the boy dog. Okay, so he had three indoor dogs? Yeah. Okay, and do you know if he had uh, an electronic fence around the front of his uh, property there to keep yes. the dogs? Yes. All right, and do you know if Chance and the other indoor dogs had those collars on that keep them in that area? Yes. All right. Had you ever seen Chance be mean at all towards mm. other people? No. Did Frankie have any pets? Yes. What kind of pets did he have? He had, uh, he had chickens and had some dogs. Okay, and were his dogs out back behind his place? That's where he kept them at a lot of times. Okay. When you were over at Frankie's house this day, were there any dogs inside? I didn't see none. Okay. Do you know if Frankie was into fighting roosters or fighting chickens? Could be. All right. What about Chris? I couldn't tell you. Do you know if Chris Sr. traveled out of town much? Couldn't tell you. Did you know uh, who he worked with down at Big Bear Lake? His brother and Robin, what the hell? Okay, and who is Robin? The guy that owns the lake. Do you know if he and Chris traveled much together or ever? Um, I know it a couple times. Pardon me? I've known it a couple times. Okay, do you know where they went by any chance? Nope. Now, Dana had just recently moved in the house uh, that you went into, correct? Yes. Uh, she'd been there about a month or so? Right around a month. Right around there. And is it true that Chris Sr. bought that place for her? He was buying it. They were buying it. Do you know if he paid cash for it or not, or if he got a loan? Uh, paid cash for part of it, and then the rest of it's through a loan. Okay. Do you know how much he paid cash? Don't know. Did you know Billy Wagner? No of him. Note of him. Had you met him before? Once or twice at Chris's. Uh, at, I'm sorry, at Chris's place? Yes. Okay. So it was your understanding that Billy and Chris Sr. were friends? I know they talked. They talked, okay. Did you know Chris Sr. of having 4th of July parties? Yes. Tell us about that. We'd have a bunch of fireworks. It's a big event every year? Yep. Kind of a really nice big display of fireworks? Yes. Everybody looked forward to it, right? Yep. A lot of uh, 
drinking going on too? Some. Some? He would provide that, right? You brought your own. Pardon me? You brought your own. Brought your own, okay. But the fireworks were something everyone enjoyed, right? Yes. Quite a big display. Pretty good size. Pretty good size. And that area between Frankie's trailer and Chris's trailer is where he would have a trailer, uh, kind of a flatbed trailer to set off the fireworks, right? Yes. If I could have just a moment. Sir, I appreciate your patience. Um, do you know if Chris Sr. owned rental property at all? Not that I know of. All right. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. We have no further questions. Mr. State, wish to redirect. Uh, no, Your Honor. I have no questions. Thank you. You may step down. Jason, we have a Fifteen minute break. Um, so, just depends on what clock you use. I have three oh six on my watch here, so that would make it uh, about three twenty one. Uh, time for a bathroom trip, whatever. Uh, do uh, again. You're admonished not to discuss this case among yourselves or with anyone else. Not to permit this case to be discussed with you or in your presence not to form or express an opinion concerning the case. Uh, you're not to do any research, not to have, any, and you're not to have any contact with any of the people involved uh, in the trial. You're not to read, uh, view, or listen to any re uh, reports or accounts of this while you're on break. Uh, assemble at the jury room. You'll be brought back up from there. So with that, we are in recess until uh, 321.